sine, cosine, and tangent. So if you wanted to evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent, ladies and gentlemen, um, without using the inner circle, the first thing you'd want to do is identify where is pi over 4. right? And we already identified theta is equal to pi over 4. And we identified that's in the first quadrant, right? I don't need to break it up into four, so you guys are pretty good with that. Um, we also talked about that um, pi over 4 is the same thing as 45 degrees, right? But it creates a 40. If you go ahead and take your angle, since our reference angle is the same as our angle here, so therefore we can create just drawing a straight angle down, like I showed you over there, you can create a 90 degree angle. Now, if this is pi over 4, that's the same thing as 45 degrees, right? Yes? So if that's 45 degrees, that's 45 degrees. Now remember, we talked about the relationship of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. You guys should now automatically be able to write this relationship easily. So if I say, what is the sine of pi over 4, because I asked you to find the sine, cosine, and tangent, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of pi over 4 is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, which is 1. Yes? Now, the last thing I'd like you guys to do is the sine of an angle is equal to the y-coordinate. The sine of an angle, or the, sorry, the cosine of an angle is equal to the x-coordinate. And the tangent of an angle is equal to y over x. Could anybody take out their unit circle and verify my answers for the cosine of pi over 4 or 45 degrees? Does anybody look at, does anybody have their unit circle about or available? Could you guys just go and look at your unit circle and just make sure that the sine of pi over 4, the y-coordinate is square root of 2 over 2, the x-coordinate is square root of 2 over 2, and the tangent would, if you divided y over the x-coordinate, you would get 1? Yes. It's the same thing. Okay. 